welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am filming a monthly favorites i've never i don't think i have ever even like back in the day as an old school youtube type video i don't think i've ever done a dedicated monthly favorites video i don't think regular viewers will know that each month i like to do a kind of monthly reset vlog at the start of every month so my last video my hello april featured lots of spring cleaning organizing new spring decor it ended up being a pretty long vlog so i decided to put this segment the monthly favorite segment that i do within those reset vlogs into its own video because I have quite a few things that I want to share with you. So if you haven't already, make sure you're set, comfy, relaxed with a nice cozy drink of choice, some snacks, maybe even a pen and paper to jot down some of my favorites. What I will do though is I will leave everything that I can linked down for you in the description box below so that if you did want to um, try any of these things out, then I'll leave the shopping links for you listed below in the description box. I've kind of categorized everything. So I'm gonna start with the home type category then beauty i've got some fashion finds i have a tv category because i've found some good new things on tv lately food and drink category and also kind of miscellaneous category at the end and i'm actually going to start with sharing a small business i got a parcel from a brand called satori which i have shopped and mentioned before i think in what i got for my birthday video so i am a purchasing customer this aren't gifted or anything like that but my planner that my mum bought me for my birthday my kind of like 2023 diary is from satori and satori have so many amazing stationery bits if you're a stationery lover you will love them i put in a big order myself because she is about to go on maternity leave the owner of that business and it is just a small business so she is having some time off which means that she has a whopping 50 percent off site wide and it's kind of like an until stops last type situation. So I stocked up on quite a few things, which I'll show you. Um, but then there are loads more as well if you wanted to get your hands on some bargains. So I'll start by showing you this. This is their like address diary book and it is a beautiful linen finish with this gold foiling and embossing on the front that just has phone, post and birthday. And it is simply an address book that you can complete yourself lettered so that you can organize into the different kind of sections. And the address book is now 17 pounds and 50 pence. Then I also picked up some of her list pads that she does and these do come in a variety of different shades. This first one, the smallest one is a love of list. You can probably see there the silver foiling on the front and it is just simply a list, like a shopping list type uh, notebook. That one was three pounds. And then a today to-do list. This one was four pounds. And again, each page follows the same principle of just a note page list type notebook. Oh, the color that I went for, sorry, is cream. So then I also got a weekly um, one, plans for the week. And this one is six pounds. And this is what that one looks like. Very simple, nice and neutral. I love the kind of color palettes that she's gone for with her brand, even the packaging and everything. If you get the 2023 diary, which I have, it comes boxed and in a linen bag as well. So really, really nice. Um, great gift ideas as well. At £10, I got this generic linen notebook. This one is in the shade Linen Stone. It's got this kind of like page marker as well, but it's just a plain and simple lined notebook that I just think is beautiful. Very aesthetically pleasing. And then last but not least, a bit kind of out of season this one, but at £15, the reduced price of £15, there is the Christmas planner that she created, which I think is genius. It's a three year planner, undated, so you can buy it and just either start by using it next year or the year after. It's got a simple, this planner belongs to page. And then there are three sections that follow the same kind of layout, starting with the year page that you can date yourself. There's just all sorts within this. There's cards so you can mark down names and addresses whether you've written them whether you've posted them gift listing as to like ideas who you've bought for what total up the price have you wrapped it have you sent it have you bought it and then there's a little menu if you're hosting preparations and timings page events if you've got any Christmassy festive events planned in the diary shopping list page as well so yeah it's just a great planner for keeping organized especially if you do host at christmas because it does have that section whereby you can jot down all the different kind of shopping lists food prep 
timings and all of that kind of stuff as well. So yes, you do have to be quick with that one guys because it is until stocks last and then she has said that she is going to be coming back. The business isn't shutting down. She's just putting on, on a pause to spend some time with um, spend some maternity leave and spend some time with her family. You will have seen recently, I talked about it from the white company that got a new scent out called Amalfi Lemon. So I picked up the candle, which is currently burning behind me. It's the perfect kind of spring summery scent, nice and zesty and fresh. And I also picked up the oil too. So again, I will leave those linked below. They've got a few new scents on, on the uh, white company at the minute, Sandalwood, which I bought the oil of. This Amalfi Lemon, they've got a new grapefruit and mandarin, which is also really nice. However, the Amalfi and Lemon one is a limited edition and it is my favorite one. I also have bought a new laundry detergent. Well, this one's actually um, a laundry liquid. Now they do do this from M&S, by the way. This is my second one um, because I loved it so much. I didn't buy the fabric conditioner just purely because I do have my Neptune one, which I really like. However, in terms of scent, as far as scents go, because I don't put the Neptune one in every, I don't put fabric conditioner in every single wash. So I'm just washing it just purely with detergent. This smells so good. It was quite hyped up across social media and everything as being, oh, so good. As being a dupe for like Lalabo type scents. It's very kind of rich and musky and moody, but also um, quite nice and fresh with that bergamot in there as well. Sandalwood and bergamot. Now I have also got this to try. I haven't used this one yet. So whether or not it's a favorite, I don't know, but it's the fabric stain remover again from M&S. So let me know if you've tried this yourself. Sticking with kind of cleaning products, I featured this in my spring clean with me, my last video, and it is incredible. I've been using it ever since. It's the Orange and Neroli Scented Febreze. Now, I've had this scent before in the kind of bathroom fresheners. I've got the plug-in recently, which is down in the basement, but I keep this one upstairs and just every morning, I just air out the bedroom because Barney does sleep in our bed with us at the minute, but shh, we won't tell anyone that. I'm blaming it on being the renovations, which I do think it will. I think he will go back downstairs eventually, which I am gonna miss him if and when he does. But anyway, in the mornings, I like to open up the windows, let some fresh air in, make the bed, hoover up and use this. And it honestly smells so, so good. Really zesty and fresh and quite expensive smelling with that Neroli. If you do follow me on TikTok, because yes, I have TikTok. I posted a video of a brand that I found in TK Maxx and HomeSense recently. Can you believe it? Jo Malone. They're not heavily discounted, and I'm not surprised to be honest with you, because it is Jo Malone. It's a brand that everyone knows and loves. However, they do still have products that are discounted nonetheless. So, it uh, and they're like not really random fragrances. They're like, I saw candles in Pomegranate Noir, which is like one of their big best sellers, best known ones. They had reed diffusers. Um, the candles, just keep your eyes peeled if you're wanting to go in. They only had a couple out like this, and same with the reed diffusers. They had quite a few in cardboard boxes so it was quite hard to see that it was a Jo Malone candle but I would try and opt for the one in a box because it's got the lid and it's packaged up so you know it's safe and sound but anyway this one is orange blossom this is actually one that I already had but I just thought oh so good just wanted to kind of show that this is the size that you get from TK Maxx on that same shopping trip I did make a couple of new purchases so I thought I might as well share them with you as some monthly favorite new purchases for the home so firstly these pasta bowls I got two because I think they're just quite nice to like kind of sit like that on a shelf styled up or like I say just two for me and Tom for having pasta pasta nights they've just a really pretty design in that they are plain and white ceramic with a kind of ridged edging and then it's got like a half stone and embossed bit here on the front that just says artisan street we either get like a bowl usually or a plate this is a pasta bowl a true pasta bowl i think they must do a whole range of crockery because this one on the uh, label says number 14 and I saw that they have mugs as well. They retail for nine pounds and they're in TK Maxx for 5 99 And then one other purchase that I made whilst I was in there, I thought I would share with you too. And it is this um, like acacia wooded, they kind of advertise it as a storage thing for within a pantry, kitchen cupboard for organizing sachets and things, whether you use 
the sachets for like casserole mixers or rice packets, that kind of thing. I also thought it would be quite nice to have different teas in there, you know, like have rows of teas in them because I'm a tea drinker. In fact, I've got some tea to recommend in a minute. Not English breakfast tea though, or Earl Grey. I'm like a lemon and ginger, peppermint, chamomile. I quite like that kind of a flavored tea. So uh, yeah, I thought that'd be quite nice to have them displayed in there. That was uh, 6.99, it retails for 21 pounds that. So good little find there, if I do say so myself. So that's everything that I've got within the home kind of category. I'm gonna move on to beauty now. So the first one that I'm gonna mention isn't really a new discovery. It is something that I have been using for such a long time and it's from Robbie Brown. It is the long wear cream shadow sticks that they do for your eyes. Now I've got um, a new version of truffle, which is my favorite shade that they do. This is the one that is empty i'm really trying to scrape out everything i can um and then this one is a brand new fresh one which i cannot wait to use but it's a really pretty shadow stick like creamy shadow stick that i tend to use this shade on my inner corners and my brow bones but the kind of new discovery to this is the fact that bobby brown very kindly sent me a couple of other shades new shades that i've not tried before and both of them are beautiful so Firstly, I'm going to show you the Moonstone, which is kind of similar to the Truffle in that you would kind of use it to highlight. It's a very shimmery um, kind of brightening type shade. So yeah, really, really pretty. The girl that sent it to me actually said that was her favorite shade. And then also another shade, and it's in the shade Cinnamon. And this one is a really rich kind of chocolatey warm brown that is i think personally really nice with blue eyes so if you have blue eyes and you want to go for um like a really easy application type product for your eyes a cream shadow stick like this is so easy not only for highlighting areas but also just across the lid and then i just blend in either with my finger or a kind of fluffy brush and then also from bobby brown something that i've been incorporating within my routine is the vitamin enriched face base this is kind of a rediscovery because i did used to use this and i haven't used it for a long long while just purely because i had other primers that i was using up and they sent me this, I used it straight away. I remembered exactly how much I loved it and I just fell straight back in love. But a little does go a long way. It has a real nice zesty kind of lemony smell to it. It's very creamy and absorbent. It's not sticky at all. It's just a beautiful base for your makeup. So yeah, really enjoying that. Again, another little goes a long way product from Espar. And I went to an event in a vlog a few weeks back now and we got gifted this as part of the kind of PR package. It's a pulse point oil. I made a conscious effort to put it beside my bed. I have it out so that every single night before bed, I just pop a little bit on my pulse points on my wrist, have deep inhalation. Oh, it's so good. And this just sends you right to sleep. It is such a calming scent. And again, I've used this every single night, sometimes like that, just pop a bit on during the day as well, just if you want a nice inhalation of the restful scent that Espa do. And yeah, look how little has been used hardly any. So this is going to last a long, long time. Great to pop in your hand luggage as well if you're going on a flight just to keep nice and calm. If you get a bit of nervous energy when you're a flyer or you're going on a long haul flight, maybe in an overnight flight that you want to get some sleep, just pop a bit of that on. I'm sure even the people sat next to you will be very thankful for that too. So yeah, had to mention that. This is a discovery through PR. I probably wouldn't have ever bought for myself and I have been loving it. So it's a new fragrance, it's from Jo Loves and it's in Ebony and Cassis. And it's a very warm, deep scent that I would suggest is good with that kind of like Cassis Blackberry type scent for summer months but for in an evening during summer. It's so warm and rich, but because it's a, a little bit fruity as well, I just think it's a perfect summer's evening fragrance. So yeah, I've been loving that. Not a fan of the packaging. That's the only thing I will say. I don't know if this is a limited edition. I'm pretty sure they'll do this scent in just the regular classic packaging that they do. If I can find the scent in a classic clean minimal bottle, 
I'll leave that one linked for you. Again, I did a bit of a beauty routine in a recent vlog and I mentioned this in which, again, I discovered through PR, I went to have my makeup done by Armani and this, uh, this foundation is by no means brand new news to anyone. Everyone will know the Luminous Silk Foundation. However, as much as I love this and I do, and this is also what I'm mentioning as a favorite, it's actually the application. I have never applied a foundation with a big fluffy powder brush before. However, that's what she used on me. And I've been really enjoying using my foundation, popping it on with a big fluffy brush like this. It really airbrushes it out and gives it a nice kind of like brush stroke free finish. And it's quite a pleasant experience to pop on. There's none of this needing to go and dampen a sponge or anything like that. This one is the Spectrum A00, but just any kind of powder brush. Couple more beauty products now. And the first is an extension of this brand, which I have been using the SPF for quite a while now from La Roche-Posay. I've been using this for over a month. As a result of loving that so much, I decided to try out the skincare. So this can go alongside serums or Skin Me if you use that. This is just a moisturizer, essentially an eye cream as well that I've been using. So the white one is the day cream and then the blue is the night cream. And I've been really good and religious with applying it every single day because sometimes I can slack and maybe just use moisturizer once a day. But I've been really enjoying the process of moisturizing in the morning. I, I put the SPF on first. Do I? I think I put the moisturizer on first and then I go in with SPF. Yeah, I'm trying to like visualize myself doing it in the bathroom in the morning. Yeah, so I go in with this and then I use the night cream and the eye cream just at night time. So I go in with that day cream, then put SPF on, let it all soak in and do its thing and then go in with the face base from Bobbi Brown before going in with my makeup. So a really nice kind of moisturized, hydrated base before I even put my makeup on. I've really been enjoying. And then lastly, I've got a product from Christoph Robin and I discovered this through Glossybox. This is why I love Glossybox because you can discover new favorites through some of the things that they throw in every month and send to you. So I've actually been working with Christoph Robin on Instagram. I do love those products. However, this was kind of a discovery for me that I thought I would share with you because I will repurchase this once it's run out and it is something a little bit different. It smells lovely, but it's kind of, it's a shampoo, but it feels very much like an exfoliator. And I was a bit like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that being within my hair but I have never felt like after I put this in and it lathered up so much, it's, it felt squeaky clean. Like my hair was squeaking. It was that clean when I was rinsing it out. So yeah, I think the scrub just helps really rid of any dead skin cells on your scalp. I always double shampoo anyway. So I went in with this one first and then I usually go in with the purple shampoo. And then I used their, from the same range, the purifying gel type, conditioner essentially. So yeah, I loved that and had to share that little discovery. So they are all the beauty bits. Now I wanted to share some fashion finds. It, I feel a bit embarrassed to share these with you because they're a bit grubby. I've literally worn them out today. But anyway, some new balance trainers. I got these ones off ASOS. I'll try and leave these style um, linked below. They're the 608. I just wanted a chunky pair of white trainers with like a black, well this one's actually navy, new balance logo. So it's kind of like a running errands type leggings, a Nina Bing hoodie, some socks, like an Adenola socks and those for just everyday purpose. And yeah, been loving those. And then I also want to share these earrings with you. They're from Ana Luisa. I just really like the fact that they're by metal. So I'm getting into mixing my metals. And this one has a little silver hoop next to a bigger gold one. Also kind of gives the illusion of a double piercing, which I don't have. So if you like that kind of multi-layered earring stack, then this is a nice way to do so if you've only got one piercing. But yeah, mixing metals, loving those. Purchased from Dior, but this was actually Dior Beauty and Boots. And again, I mentioned this in a vlog, so I'll just whiz through it and just mention it here as well. But essentially they've got an offer on at the moment whereby you can get this clutch with any purchase of their perfume. So I just think this as a fashion find for into summer, not just for spring, but summer as well. I just think it's perfect. Nice little straw bag, zippable pouch bag that is, could be like a nice little evening clutch on holiday or a little beach bag or a bag to go within your beach bag for all your kind of like toiletry bits. 
so I had to share that with you because I just think that is lovely it's not like it says perfumes on the front it just says Dior but it was free so it went straight in my basket. When I was picking up those laundry bits from M&S, I also saw that they had loads of sale bits on. So this was kind of like a fashion find, kind of favorites find in that it was my favorite probably bargain find of this video. And it was, yeah, a pair of jeans that were reduced to just £6.49. But they're not jeans, they're like a, like a corduroy actually. Um, but not obvious corduroy creamy stone kind of color perfect for spring summer to just wear with like basic white tea trainers so refer to my phone now because i've got a couple of tv favorite finds that i wanted to mention firstly drive to survive it's no secret that i since they uploaded drive to survive on on um, netflix which is kind of like docuseries on formula one I just have a bit of a passion for it now. I'm not obsessive, but when it's on, I'm just, I keep getting the YouTube videos of like the qualifiers, the um, highlights, the race highlights recommendations. And they're like seven minutes, those videos. So I tend to watch those rather than the full race. But I find the Drive to Survive on Netflix quite interesting. So I've been watching that, or well, we've watched that. These are all things that I've fully watched. Thai Cave Rescue on Netflix as well, really insightful. And it's kind of a dramatization of with actors of the events that happened when the um you know the the school the football team the young boys football team um essentially got trapped in a cave when the rain fell down and it was basically a rescue mission to save them over about 18 days but i learned quite a lot from that show that i didn't even like catch watching it on the on the news the menu was this on, I think this was on Amazon Prime. It features, oh, what's, the, who's the main guy? Oh, what's he called? Voldemort actor. Ralph Fiennes. So he's the main kind of character as this restaurant owner and he invites a load of people, restaurant lovers, food lovers, wealthy people that pay a big whack to eat at his restaurant, but it's a full experience. And it kind of turns into a little bit of a thriller horror type situation but not not i wouldn't go as far as to say horror there's a little bit of gore there is quite a lot of gore but it's kind of like a mystery as well it, it was it's one of those films that i feel like some people will go into it going what was that that i've just watched and others will go oh i quite liked that and i'm in that category i'm in that boat so yeah i would recommend it but it's a little bit different sorry if we've slight like, changed angles there or anything i've just had to uh, switch out the battery but anyway yeah so the menu is really good and then last but not least the last kind of tv film mentioned that i wanted to talk about was luther on netflix it's the new movie that they do whether you've seen the series or not which personally we have and loved so if you haven't watched it definitely do it's on bbc i believe it was this is a while ago when they first uploaded it but really enjoyed the luther season but regardless of whether you've seen that or not the movie on netflix was really good it's kind of a nod to say see i could have been james bond that's how i feel like it was quite felt like quite a big budget production idris elba was really good in it and would definitely recommend it so i'm going to talk food and drink so if you're a little bit peckish i do apologize so I'm going to talk about some real good finds here, starting with this, which is probably my favourite find. This is my second bar now. I have been saving it to share it with you. It's the Milky Bar Raspberry Flavour um, from B&M. B&M just do the best chocolates, treats that are a bit quirky, a bit different. And yeah, this is a must try. If you like white chocolate and raspberry flavored things, you'll love that. Another food purchase, and I got these last year as well. They're from M&S. They are the Bramley Apple Hot Cross Buns. I'm not a big hot cross bun lover, it has to be said. But if you're hosting, if you're doing a brunch or an Easter type table, and you're also not really a fan of hot cross buns, but you like apple, I would recommend trying these ones because they are different. They just add that kind of like apple fruitiness to them that makes them feel less hot cross bun like. They've got loads of different flavors. So I think they've got like toffee, chocolate ones. I personally quite like the apple ones, but it kind of works with that cinnamony flavor, but yeah. So I've talked a bit about my kind of anxiety journey, like working with a therapist, talking about overcoming 
my anxiety and I read up so much about CBD oil and it's something that I've tried in the past but not really given it my all. I've just like the odd here and there. Now I've been trying um, the, have I got it here to show you? I'll pop a little cutaway anyway so you can see it but from Trip, the CBD oil, I've got two actually that I bought but they're just different flavours, that's the only difference and yeah it's just pop a few drops under your tongue in the morning every day whilst I do it whilst I'm taking my vitamins as well. I have been feeling less anxious. Now, is that a case of it's a combination of a variety of different things, spring is in the air. I've obviously been working on my feelings and thoughts and talking about them more with a therapist. I've been listening to some podcasts. I've been doing a bit of self-help, self-love practice, mindfulness practice, going out on nice long dog walks in the fresh air, bit of yoga, bit of meditation, and overall it's helping. But as a part of that, I have been introducing a CBD couple of drops every day. So yeah, I will say that I've been enjoying that. Um, I also have, as part of my vitamins supplements, some ashwagandha, I think it's called. And it's again, it's meant to be a natural um, stress and depression relieving uh, root of a flower or something. That's essentially what it is. But anyway... I've seen that Pucker have brought out that flavour in tea. So it's called, they call it the peace tea and it's a blend of spearmint, ashwagandha and hemp seed oil. So it's kind of like along the same vibes of what I've been mentioning there. And this is the second box actually, I've got a box already downstairs on the go. So yeah, I've been having those like in an evening usually, or if I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, I want a nice warm comforting drink. That's quite a nice tea to have. And then I've also discovered these. Now, I don't think I'm going to be a regular purchase of these because they're kind of pricey. However, I did really enjoy them. I've had one of each and there was a third one as well, which I can't remember what that one was called, but this one's called Recovery. This one's my favourite. It's sparkling, which is probably why it's my favourite. And it's also flavoured ginger, blood orange and turmeric. And it's got zinc in there as well. It's also got, these come with 20 milligrams of the CBD in as well. Um, and then this is the relaxed one. So this is still, I've actually just had one of these today. And this one has chamomile, black tea, ashwagandha in again. And then L-theanine. I don't know, but it again has that 20 milligrams of CBD in. It's got magnesium in it as well and vitamin D. So yeah, just a good all-rounder drink that helps with the whole process of stress relieving, being a happy version of ourselves. And yeah, I've been enjoying them. Now I do love a ginger shot, a bit of a boost in the morning. I personally am a fan of the spice that comes with a ginger shot. However, if you don't like spice, I found these and they are kombucha health shots. First time I ever had kombucha and I hear a lot about it. I think it's good for your gut. It's good for gut health. It's got loads of like live cultures in, it's low in sugar, it's got vitamins C and D3 in, but these are from number one living. I found these in booths. I don't know, I'm assuming other supermarkets will have them as well. Um, they were on offer at the time, three for three pounds I think and I just fancy the ginger shot so I bought three but they're not spicy so they're ginger grapefruit and lime and yeah they were really easy to drink so if you're not a fan of the spice but you kind of want to have that kind of morning shot of good gut health then maybe try these ones it's <laughs> so random but whilst I was in there I also picked up this water bottle and this is purely for aesthetics that I thought I would share this within the monthly favourites because how nice is this water bottle? It's a kind of milky, creamy, peachy colour, which I thought would be just nice just to have on the go, refill and have for spring and summer. It's a gorgeous colour. I thought I would mention that rather than just go for your box standard plastic water bottle that you're going to throw away if you're on the go and need some water then look at this one from Bottle Up. That's all the kind of food and drink items that I wanted to mention. A couple of kind of miscellaneous things that I had on my list that I thought, oh, I'll, I'll keep those included within my monthly favorites video. So like I was saying, a bit of mindfulness, self-love, that kind of thing. I have been treating myself to some kind of monthly, or sometimes a bit more regular than that, but some kind of treatment that gets me out of the house, for one, 
tick, great, you're out of your comfort zone. And two, doing something by myself, again, boosting confidence, good for my mind and getting me out and about. And also self-soothing because I've been doing some kind of a pamper essentially. So I had a facial from Face Gym in Selfridges that was lovely. I booked in this time, it was quite often, if you search for introductory offers, which is what this one was, um, then you can get a really good rate as well because they get pricey. I would love to have more regular massages, facials and stuff, but I just think of the price the whole time. So anyway, even if it's monthly, it's something that I put the money to one side and don't think of it as, oh, that's a lot of money. I just think, no, it's beneficial for me. I enjoy it and treat myself. So I booked in at a massage, it was called the Massage Company in Ultrium. Would I go back there specifically? I don't know. It was okay. It was, again, it was an intro introductory offer that they might still have running. And it, it was not so much an aromatherapy relaxation type massage. It was very much just a in and out, get the, get the muscles relaxed and that's about it. So I don't know if maybe I feel like I'd benefit more if I was to go to like more of a spa and have one that has like S-Bar products. Again, it gets expensive, but if I'm doing one of those every quarter of the year, is it really, I don't it's a treat. I don't go out, I don't drink loads and party loads and spend loads of money on food and drink out and about. So that's kind of my investment to me time. Of course, the other things that you could do, maybe getting your hair done, your nails, yoga classes, meditation classes, um, girls time as well, booking that in, which I've done a couple of times. This last previous weekend, I went to see my friend Lydia. We had a bit of girls night at hers and sushi. The weekend before, I booked in a girls trip with um, three other girls to the Lake District, which I, no, not Lake District, Peak District. Went to Chatsworth House, Bakewell. I vlogged that. So if you missed that, there is a vlog that is for that trip. Um, and yeah, so girls time, I think is a big monthly favorite. So I've done it a few times this month and I'm feeling good for it. And also Sophology is a new discovery that kind of leads back to like yoga, meditation classes. Sophology is, it was a class that I had and she's a sleep expert. And it was within this event that I went to with Espa. It was at Hale Country Club and Spa. And it was just lovely. I'm sure there are free YouTube videos that you could watch and just type in Sophology. I just think of the Sophology company. I think that's how you say it, Sophology. And then the last and final thing that I wanted to mention, again, super, super random, but something that I have been obsessing over is the seatbelt psychic. I think he's called Tom on TikTok. I watch his TikTok videos, but I believe he has a program out in America, which is essentially, he's a taxi driver and he has the camera set up whereby people get, jump in the back of his cab, he's taking them somewhere and he's a psychic, he's a medium and he gives them readings. And quite often, I, I love that kind of stuff. I'm spiritual, I'm into that, I enjoy it. I find it fascinating, but I, I find it sad and annoying when people kind of, how do I describe it? Kind of pick on the vulnerable and, or, or when, when psychics kind of, they feed off what you're saying rather than going in blind. And he's really good because he's like, don't give me any more information. Let me, let me just blah, blah, blah. And he'll go into such specifics like nicknames and oh, I just, I find his videos fascinating, honestly. So seatbelt psychic, if you just type that into TikTok, you'll find yourself in a TikTok loophole or even on YouTube, I'm sure there's videos. Uh, but yeah, that's the last thing that I wanted to mention. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this monthly favorites video, something a little bit different, throwing it back to old school YouTube days. Um, sorry, I didn't include it in my last vlog, but like I said, I just had plenty to share with you that I thought it could be its own video this month. So all the items that I have mentioned will be linked below if you want to shop any. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video, which is probably going to be a home bargains b and trip because I feel like it's overdue. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye, guys.